a paper that came out more recently and it was looking at the antibody titers in blood donors because people who are blood donors they have hyperimmune globulin isolated from the blood to give to people who are immunodeficient who can't receive a live viral vaccine for measles and the FDA have certain criteria that that has to have a certain ability in that blood to neutralize measles virus mm. to pass its test they were finding increasingly over time they couldn't meet that criteria they couldn't get blood from donors younger donors who'd been vaccinated that was now protective they were failing the test so they wow. said they said to themselves right let's do this let's give these people a booster vaccine just before we take their blood and that'll boost it and then we'll meet the, the FDA's criteria well, they did that it didn't work they doubled the neutralizing titer but that didn't come anywhere near what the FDA required and it had gone within a hundred and so days so that would mean that you would have to have at least three doses of MMR per year for life to even get a slightly incremental increase in your antibody titer. It's a complete joke, but the mo most worrying thing of all is another graph I gave you guys, Dell, of the, what they did is take blood samples they'd stored over time from birth cohorts born way back when they were getting measles to those now, those in their, in their 20s now. And they looked at the ability of that blood to neutralize the measles virus. And what they found is that the neutralizing titer came way down and was down in their boots right here. Despite the fact that the vaccine came in here and the booster came in here, these people were completely unprotected. So the adult population of this country is completely unprotected from measles, vir measles virus unless you've had the natural infection. Yes. And boosting it with vaccination is not going to make any difference. And that is an incredibly worrying situation.